Hello everyone. My name is Nirmal Thevaratantri and I'm part of our Azure Advanced Networking Global Black Belt team. So in this demonstration, I will show you how to connect an Express Route circuit. The first thing that needs to be done is to create an Express Route circuit. Once the circuit is created, you need to work with your service provider and then provision the Express Route circuit. Once the circuit is provisioned, you would be able to see the provisioning status that will change from not provisioned to a provisioned state. What this means is the circuit is now ready uh, to be connected to virtual van. Once this process is done, what you can do is you can create a virtual van resource and then within the virtual van resource, you can create a virtual hub. In my environment, I have created my virtual van environment and I have also created my virtual van hub. Once the virtual van hub is created, the next step that needs to be done is to go to express route and then you also need to create an express route gateway. When you create an express route gateway, you need to select gateway scale units. We have scale unit one, which is two GBPS, and we have all the way up to scale unit 10, which is 20 GBPS. The size of the scale unit will depend on the speed of the circuit that you had already provisioned. In my instance, I am using a 50 Mbps uh, circuit, which would mean I can go for the lowest available scale unit, which is one scale unit, and this offers uh, two GBPS. Once the gateway is created and the gateway is uh, ready, what happens is if you go to the overview tab, you would be able to see the status of the gateway. So here we can see the gateway is uh, in a successful uh, state. And we can also check for the virtual hub status and also virtual routing status. These are all in successful state. Once this is ready, what you do next is to go to the express route tab and then you can select the circuit that you have provisioned before and then you can select a connect circuit. Here we also can see that this is also not connected to a hub. Uh, so it's saying not connected. Once the connection is completed, we will see that the circuit would say it is connected to this local hub. So let me go ahead and uh, click connect circuit. And this is going to ask me if I want to proceed ahead. I'm going to hit confirm. And then this would now run through the process of connecting this circuit to my virtual hub. Here we also have a visual indication uh, to say that this particular circuit is connected to this hub. This is useful if you have multiple hubs and if you have multiple circuits, you could know uh, which circuits are connected to uh, which hubs. Once this is provisioned, I will also show additional options around weight configuration. If you have more than one circuit connected to the same virtual hub, uh, using the weight configuration, it is possible for you to prioritize which circuit is going to be used for traffic going out from the show environment to your on-premises environment. Yep, so we can see that the connection is successful. If I close this and have a look, we can see here that the status has changed to connected to this hub. I can also view connection settings. So let me go back to the overview. Yep, so this is also updated, connected with the uh, one circuit. And if I go back to the express route circuit, I can see uh, some additional settings. So few things to note here. The first thing is if you have multiple express route circuits connected to the same hub, you can apply a weight value here and higher weight will be used as the preferred connection. We also have an option in here to disable or allow a default route propagation. Uh, by default, this is set to uh, disable. So now that this is connected, 
what we can also validate is the routing yep so we can go to effective routes we can select the default route table and what we expect to see here is my on-premises routes and also we should see the routes attached to this particular virtual hub so you can see here this is the routes being received through my express route gateway uh, with the on-premises s path and then these are the routes from my vnets that are attached to my virtual hub the other way to validate is if i go back to my resource group and if i go to my express route circuit if I go to peerings and here I can also view the route table. So this would also list routes that are being learned by on-premises and also list the routes that are being learned by the virtual hub. Yep, so we can see here, these are my internal AS numbers and here I have my internal VNets propagating to this express route circuit. And I also have my 10150 which is my on-premises um, address prefix that is also learned through this uh, express route uh, circuit that's all for this recording and here i have covered how to use an express route circuit that is already configured and how to attach this circuit to a virtual van hub thank you